want to talk about a tip that I have for reloading bullpups. Now, I've worked with bullpups a good amount since I've been out of the military, and I've found some weaknesses of the platforms here and there, but I want to talk about a consistent method of reloading a bullpup that you may either be stuck with or you might find out is a little bit more superior because it covers basically every uh, instance in the case of failure to lock open or malfunctions or whatever you can develop a consistency and not really have to think about it and the thing behind reloads is you want it to be basically to the point of being second nature so let's go in and get into it and we'll start out with the styrog nato now with the regular uh, Styrog, you have a bolt release right here, and a lot of times they recommend uh, inserting your magazine and then hitting the bolt release to let the recoil springs work for you. And this uh, rifle demands that not only you manually charge it, but also you need to keep in mind you do not want to ride any gun if you manually charge it. You do not want to ride it forward you want to let it go and let the recoil spring do all the work so I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here I have a magazine with one snap cap in it and if you're going to practice this and if you're not on the range obviously you don't want to do this with ammo even if you intend not to shoot it so we'll go ahead and do this here so I'm shooting 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 mushy trigger and now you eject the magazine at least with the sire you use your thumb and then you grab your next magazine and rip it back. You want to be uh, manhandling this rifle and you want to do it underhand for this rifle. And then you're pretty much good to go. Now let's go ahead and look at another bullpup, the Tavor, which has a little bit of a different manual of arms, which a lot of people consider to be a little bit more intuitive. Okay, so with the Tavor, what you're going to find is that with the bolt release right here, on the X95 in particular, you're probably going to find that the bolt release is very sensitive. I sure found that out for myself. And a lot of people like this so they can do quicker reloads. And they have a button up here. They can do a lot quicker reloads and uh, hit it with their thumb. But with this Tavor, I find it to be a lot better. So you're more intentional with hitting the bolt release instead of hitting it inadvertently, which I found myself doing with the X95. So. With the Tavor, I actually prefer to manually charge it or release the bolt manually. And of course, releasing it very much uh, the same as the Styrog. But what I found is that, again, we're going to demonstrate this with the um, snap cap, of course, being safe. So, with this, you can eject it either pushing your hand back like this or you can swipe it down, which is my preferred method because typically what you'll find is when you want them to drop, they don't drop. So with this, I take my hand, my knife hand right here, and I swipe it out. And then I grab my next magazine, and then you can hit it with your thumb just like this. You don't need to individually uh, place your hand in order to hit it. You can, but you know it, it's not necessary. So let's go ahead and talk about the next method that I like to use. Okay, the next method, the the bolt is locked to the rear, and you know I'm gonna manually cycle it here. And you'll probably notice that it takes a fraction of the t uh, more time than it would just to hit the bolt release. But what I find is that reloads are not really that's uh, necessary to. It's not necessary to be super fast with reloads, other than in competition and such. And in that case, you're gonna have to practice not releasing the bolt accidentally before you insert the next magazine securely into the rifle. So, with this, of course, you can sweep or just trigger it out, or retain the magazine, whatever you wish, but I'll just swipe it out. I'll grab the next one and just release it like so. It's very simple to operate these rifles, but a lot of people get, you know, a little uh, sensitive about the fact that they're changing from shoot, uh, doing the magazines uh, changes from here and pulling it into their workspace to basically being able to keep it in your shoulder and just put it in there. It's very intuitive to be able to work with everything right in your workspace here instead of having to pull it um, back into your uh, your workspace. You basically just get to keep it here and this is probably the most ergonomic way to do it. You can turn it 
and you can elbow to stomach with it and it's very intuitive to do this so that's one of the reasons why I find the bullpup to be a very good uh, platform in order to be a little bit faster more maneuverable it has all the advantages of a regular 16 inch barrel AR style platform but without a lot of the drawbacks of having to take time to put in your workspace to be a little more efficient and not have to sit there and uh, find your space to put the magazine in so that's really my tip for uh, getting better with your reloads and being more consistent with a bullpup rifle.